Tell them that in that living room with my wife I'm up all night, season ends while niggas sleeping Not so many guys, guess why I'm breathing We keep it strong, as the name live on Like if they was never gone, mind blown And even my medicine Hey, welcome back to the grit culture Let's talk about it uh, Before we get into it, please uh, If you uh, like the video at the end, please engage with it Hit that like button Or however you feel you hit the other one and let's hit that subscribe button help build this keep building this channel up you know support the real support the real so let's talk about it let's talk about um i know it's been a week and i've just been sitting back you know looking at things you know play out you know i'm not i'm not the one i'm not trying to be the first uh comment or anything or you know anything like that um i just been looking at how everything's played out and how the public's received uh, the news and everything. But let's talk about these mandates that are going on in New York City that were imposed by Bill de Blasio. Um, I mean, what, what, what can I say? What can I say that I haven't already said uh, continuously? Uh, first of all, what would be the point of getting a mandate, of having a mandate, if you know it's good, it's it's already been proven that it's gonna spread regardless. It spreads person to person regardless. You know if you have if you've been vaccinated or not. Let me stop saying the word trigger the algorithm. But whether you've been jabbed or not, right? Uh, but even that, you know, within that, if you're protected and the person decides that they don't want to make that decision, I mean, wouldn't it, you know, aren't they the only one that's at risk? It's kind of just like, man, it's just like, and I heard this analogy, man, on the, uh, another podcast, man, it was perfect, man. It's like seatbelt, seatbelt tickets, which <laughs> you probably heard mine. I need to put mine on. I wear a seatbelt for my own safety or whatnot, just in case, you know, and it doesn't, seatbelts aren't guaranteed to save you, but they can prevent, you know, death in the event that you get into a crash or something. But at the same time, you're not harming anybody. You're not harming anybody else by not putting on a seatbelt. That's your decision. And if you decide not to put it on, all you're doing is hurting yourself. Now, if you decide, like, now, if it's something like dealing with your child or something, you know, children who can't, you know, really defend for themselves or make a proper decision and you get a ticket for that, that's understandable. But you not having a seatbelt on by yourself, see, the, things like that, it's little small things like that that open the door to tyranny because so you can start seeing the window of how people operate they're able they're able to do things to you you know under the guise of having your best interest at heart and that's what you're seeing with these mandates in new york now if a personal pr private business makes the decision to want their employees or a school a private school makes their, uh, you know, that's what they want to do to the employees or students or anything like that. There's nothing to people who attend there. There's nothing they can do. And in the end, all you can do is figure out another way, go somewhere else, right? That's how it's supposed to be. But putting it, but having the government make uh, make action and they're saying, you know, they'll be conducting, um, they'll basically be conducting inspections that's illegal it's illegal it's a crime it's a crime we just have so many you know ignorant people who are you know ignorant uneducated or not uneducated miseducated people who you know are drinking the kool-aid as some lady you know 
I gave her some information. You know, that's why I don't, I really don't like to engage too much on, you know, the social media platforms and shit like that, uh, other than, you know, things like this and outside of making content because people are just flat out, you know, ignorant. And then when you try to give them some information, they, you know, they want to, they're so conditioned by these media sites like CNN and Fox News that they're already combative. You know, you got people, you know, when you tell them things like this and tell them it's illegal, they give you some bullshit that, you know, they go to the state's, the state's law book. And then you, all you got to do is simply tell them state law is over, I mean, it's not over constitutional law. Constitutional law is over it all. Except for, you know, natural law itself. But as far as agreements between the citizens and their government... You got constitutional law. Then you have state law. Then local law. Then federal. Federal can only deal with things that are federal. Like public schools and things like that. If they decide, and uh, then that's held up to the state. If the state decides that they want their public schools, you know, state or federal, they want their public schools to, you know, be, you know, they want them to take the jab. You have to do it, or go somewhere else. <coughs> That's just the way it is. But making mandates on private businesses and threatening them—I mean, we already saw it last year that all of that was illegal. All of that was illegal, and man, it's—you it's, know—people don't like to look at it like this, but it's war declared upon the people. But we only get mad when we only get mad and we only get outraged when we're told to be outraged. It's war on the people. If the if these jabs are protecting you, why are you worried about the next man? Why are you worried about the next person? You take your precautions. Now, nothing's, you know, uh, 100%. Still, you know. It's crazy, man. It's, it's just crazy, you know. I'm not going to say where we come because we've been here. We're here. We've been here already, man. And you got a lot of black folks who don't understand what's going on because we've been so conditioned and educated. And so it's made to make it about, you know, us. And I'm not just saying them, but I'm I'm doing off what I see and who I deal with. I'll be around black folks. And so they don't know. A lot of them don't understand how these laws and different things work stuff like that and a lot of times they end up going against you know their own interest think about if you want to start a uh if you want to start something like a black wall street like i've said again and again they don't need guns and bullets no more all they have to do is drop a virus to cripple your economy and tell you to do tell you what to do just like they did with operation lac just like they did with Operation Sea Spray. Look it up. It's documented. And so a lot of these have been framed the different points and different things that, you know, and I'm not that I'm not saying that they're completely or nowhere near, you know, pro liberty and things like that, but a lot of these different points like this, like protecting private businesses and things like that and private property are have been framed because of the way that's been uh, positioned on television as, you know, Republican right wing Fox News talking points. And that's how they got you. Now you see how it works. 
You see how the dichotomy works. You see how they brainwash you into going against your own self-interest when you don't even know because you're too, you're too engaged within the cult of personality. You believe everything. You believe er there's experts and there's only, you know, there should only be one source. When we say we're the number one, you take that. And you take it as they're number one and they're the only one that knows. And they should be the only source. And you follow that shit. And mainly it's women doing that shit. It's ma mainly it's women who's drinking the Kool-Aid like that. And they'll argue you to the end of time. Not making any damn sense. This shit is sad, man. This is sad. You don't pay attention to what goes on in other countries and what's going on in the world around you. What makes you see all this tyranny in other countries? What makes the USA and its leaders any different? When happen when nine times out of ten, they're the ones that's causing the tyranny and destabilizing other countries. And, and, you know, taking out leaders and then putting in their own leaders. You saw what happened in Haiti. And I'm not saying I know, I'm making an assertion, but the leader was taken out. The guys who took him out were trained in the U.S. They say they're trained by the U.S., but we don't know nothing, but we ain't got nothing to do with that. Just like Osama Hussein and, and uh, Osama bin Laden. You know what I'm saying, man? Y'all. I got to wake up. And all this back and forth and division and talking trash and all this, you know, this coon talk like, you know, if you get, don't get it, if you don't get, a, if you don't get, un, if you unvaccinated and you end up dying or you're not going to be able to, to do this and that and you shouldn't be able to coon talk. And I don't want to hear vice versa about the people who decided to take the vaccination. I don't want to hear the vice versa stuff. They did what felt felt good and was what felt good to them. I don't want to hear nothing about no, you know, wishing death or you gonna shrug your shoulders if they die. You in wartime. What you should be focusing on is why your government is out here killing over a half a million people and killing. And why these world leaders are killing millions of people around the world. And you sitting up here playing these fucking games. They sitting up there right on TV talking about gain of function research in Wuhan with Dr. Fauci and Rand Paul and all that. And even that is a game. Because the truth is, they still it still hasn't been proven that they've isolated They've isolated it to even identify it as Corona. And I have the proof of that. The Wuhan director himself said that. Still haven't isolated. So you don't know what it is. There's something out here, but you don't know what it is in this in this atmosphere. But y'all playing fucking games. Y'all playing around. Y'all playing around. Y'all not. Y'all turned off y'all ears. It's like a brainwashing. But this shit is sick. This shit is sick. Y'all lost y'all fucking minds. Wake the fuck up. You are at war. Your government is continuing to do what they do. They always, they continue to be manipulative. On a daily basis. Especially when you examine them from the information that they put out and then you do the research and compare it for yourself and go to wherever source they go to, you see clearly that they're fucking lying on a daily basis. They're spinning the truth. They're playing the sides. They're playing political games. Playing this partisanship. Diverting attention. They both sides are. This whole game is a, it's all rigged. It's all rigged. Destroying your economy, printing off more money, devaluing your dollar, making it harder to acquire more things. They're going to make it much harder for your kids down the line. And you're not even paying the fucking attention, but you're talking about generational wealth. 
There's so much. There's probably more I'm missing because there's so much to this shit. Talk to me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let's get this shit together. Or is it too late? I'll let y'all later.